And now, to conclude, we've been uh, kind of doing some, uh, you know, piecing of the video here because of uh, our limited technology. But um, I don't want to leave uh, this time that we've been together, Lisa, that which I'm very, very um, grateful for. Thank you. Um, thank you, Lisa Buller. Um, I had not I, I had not introduced her completely. Uh, one piece of advice that you could offer a mother that would change, you know, her child, that would actually impact her child's life, what would it be? Well, I remember this one thing, which sometimes helps me and sometimes makes me feel a little guilty, that um, your your child actually learns to trust you at your breast, you mm -hmm. know, or mm -hmm. as you're cuddling him and cradling him, it starts right. very young. That's when they're learning to trust God, way back from the very beginning. Wow. You know? Yeah. Are you there for them? Wow. Are you going to take care of them? Wow. Are you going to micromanage their life? <laughs> Are yes. you going to help wow. them see the joys that God has here on this earth for them? Wow. And see Him through the Bible stories? That was were always very important yeah. for me to share with my children. Right. You know, because I realized pretty soon on that I could never be everything for my children. Wow. Although I wanted we want to, to right? Be. That's I think that's a, as mothers <laughs> we have that being like we want to be everything for our kids. We can't. They need I mean you have children you have a child yeah. who's totally different than you. You're exactly. Not going to fill all their needs. And I think that's where where our I think that that's where we struggle most because we we don't realize until later on that that is a different individual right we want we want it, uh, our children to be you know what we envision them to be like it, and very much you know similar to to what we envision ourselves to be but lisa thank you so much mm -hmm. um i truly appreciate you know that just sitting here and talking to you has been an inspiration for me and i pray and i know that for those of you who uh, we'll be taking the time to, you know, take this message in. You will be blessed as I have been, by observing her, I've had three years to just, you know, sit sit there and, and watch her and, and, and see uh, the human that she is. And it is really a, a, a great honor for me. And uh, I know that your boys will bless the world because their mother continually and we, blesses. I so. keep praying for them. Yes. And my mom and I both pray. For them every day yes. and for the school yes the children yes, yes. So i even yeah. realized lord i can't really teach these children i can only do so much yes it's exactly. you That's exactly I have to show through. thank you so much yeah. thank, thank you. you so much i love and your videos by the way thank so you i you. really i and i i feel honored that you, <laughs> that that you are able to to take the time to see them and as always i invite you to remember not I mean, this this whole month is going to be talking we're going to be discussing philosophy you know the philosophy of life this week it's motherhood because you know yes we are celebrating mothers uh remember to self-care ladies remember right and you know the the way you elevate your frequency which i'm going to invite you to do today uh is by taking care of yourself and then once you take, <laughs> yes because we want to take care of everybody else but remember elevate your frequency so you can live please Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment so we can continue learning together. Be blessed. See you next week. Bye-bye.